there are many different types of insults that can happen at the cornea. These can be chemical burns, infections, uh, immune conditions, uh, or straight physical injuries. And these can lead to the cornea getting severely deformed, thinned, and very likely scarred. Um, at the moment, really the best treatment would be a corneal transplant. But a corneal transplant is expensive. It requires donor tissue that's processed, um, very expensive equipment, long-term management, and access to a very capable surgeon. The totality of this makes it out of the reach of most people. We know that of the 25 plus million people who are blind from corneal scarring in one or both eyes, less than 5% today are able to get a corneal transplant. Uh, so the problem that we're trying to, to, to address is to bypass the need for a corneal transplant, bypass the need for application of other expensive and potentially toxic therapies like application of cyanoacrylate glue, which is crazy glue, which we often use to apply to thinned corneas, or use of complex surgeries to close lacerations or corneal defects, making the cornea more susceptible to scarring or potentially infection after the procedure. So we wanted to develop a technology that would be clear, transparent, adhesive, it would be retained for long periods, and would be able to be, um, it, would, it would essentially become part of the cornea and would permit corneal, native corneal cells to grow into it and become one with the biomaterial. And to address that, we've come up with this gel core technology, which comes straight out of a bottle. Gel core can be administered to the eye topically by means of a dropper, and then upon exposure to light, the collagen can cross-link and it can firm up and we can actually tune up and manipulate the degree of firmness and other mechanical properties of gel core. Gel core does not require all of the complex resources, human resources and surgical and medical resources that are required for conventional treatments. <clears throat> Therefore, for example, if a person is injured and instead of requiring sutures, you could apply biomaterial shine a light for a few minutes, and then over time have that biomaterial not only keep the cornea intact, but actually mesh with the cornea and integrate with the corneal tissue. You can imagine the very distinct and significant advantages over taking a big chunk of the cornea out, putting a corneal transplant, and then have that patient be potentially at risk of a rejection process for the rest of their lives two totally different levels of risk to the eye and to the patient. In addition to all that, we want this biomaterial to be potentially a source for eluding drugs, growth factors that can help the cornea grow, or medicines like anti-inflammatory medicines or antibiotics. If we can again address the issue of corneal scarring, corneal deformity with a biomaterial that can integrate with the native tissue, and it's transparent and clear, then I think that's a major contribution to the field. I think and we're hopeful that of the many millions of people who are suffering from corneal disease, that the intro introduction of gel core can really go a long way in addressing their needs.